Okay, so after we applied pressure on Stephen A. Smith and Malika Andrews to address the Josh Giddy situation. Hey guys, I dated Josh. We don't have to talk about it. What's up, my man? Right the, bar, the, the club. Me and my girl. Yeah. Better head back to mine. They both addressed the situation today, guys, and I would like to highlight that in today's video. So let's get right into Malika Andrews addressing the situation on NBA Today and how Malika Andrews failed to keep that same energy, man. Let's check it out right here. Here's a video. News now that surfaced late last week, the league is looking into allegations that Thunder guard Josh Giddy had an improper relationship with an underage girl. In a since-deleted post, an anonymous social media user claimed a girl who was seen with Giddy in videos and images, some of which include explicit captions, was a junior in high school at the time. Giddy, who is 21, he declined to comment on Friday. And despite the serious allegations, Giddy is yet to miss a game this season. And Thunder coach Mark Dagonalt, he said he will continue to be in the lineup, saying, quote, just with the information we have at this point, that is the decision we've made. It's obviously a league matter at this point, and the ball is in their court on that. Now, a league spokesperson told me this morning that the NBA is still in the process of gathering information, and we will continue to update this story as the news develops. NBA Today will be back in 60 seconds. Okay, so that's Malika Andrews speaking on Josh Giddy on NBA Today. And like I said, she failed to keep that same energy because we saw how she does others on her show. We got to keep in mind how Malika Andrews felt about the Emi Adoka situation. The fact that we are sitting here debating whether somebody else should have been suspended or not, we are not here, Stephen A., to further blame women. That is not why we are here. And how she had called out Draymond Green for speaking on the WNBA issues because Draymond Green has been an advocate trying to fix the WNBA issue. But Malika Andrews said that Draymond Green should keep his opinion to himself because when he speaks, it seems like he talks down at the women. And that's why she don't want Draymond Green to talk about the WNBA issues. Make sure I give this video a thumbs up. Let's push it out to the algorithm. Let's try to get a thousand plus likes on this video. Y'all been crushing it on the Malika Andrews videos, man. Without y'all, these videos will be doing the numbers that they are doing. So... I just want to say I appreciate y'all. Salute to y'all. So with that being said, let's get started in today's video. What I'm feeling is a lot of miseducation and ignorance. Well, here's the thing. I I'm not going to pretend that I know Draymond incredibly well, but in the conversations that we have had, I believe that he genuinely wants to see change. I think he is coming from a good place. He just said that at the end of the day, he and Megan Rapinoe want the same thing. But inherently, the problem here, George, is that we're sitting up here talking about Megan Rapinoe versus Draymond Green, and that's taking away from what we should be talking about, which is equal pay. Here's the thing. This cannot be done. It is not on the oppressed to fix oppression. It has to be done with allyship, which is where someone like Draymond Green, a man, comes into a space that affects predominantly women. But the thing about being an ally is when you come into that space, you should be listening first, not talking first, because there is no one who understands better what these women are going through than these women. If you come into us into this space and say, okay, I'm going to listen, I'm going to take this feedback of what you've been living and what you've been experiencing, and then I'm going to then talk and then offer my ideas, perhaps even away from Twitter, because then it comes off like you're talking at somebody who's been going through something that's incredibly difficult for years and years and years, then maybe we can get to the point where women aren't making 80 cents to every dollar that a man makes and by the way that's white women but i also did a video covering how espn failed to report on a raquana williams story i did a video on my youtube channel you guys can go check that out i have the link to that down below so yeah that's malika andrews addressing it after we all applied pressure on their ass man so hit that like button if you made this part of the video that really does help the youtube channel continue to grow i appreciate you guys showing love on these malika andrews videos calling these people out on espn to keep that same energy. So with that being said, let's get into what Stephen A. Smith had to say on this podcast because Stephen A. Smith addressed the situation. And in my opinion, he failed to keep that same energy as well. So with that being said, man, let's check out what Stephen A. Smith had to say about Josh Giddy on his podcast, The Stephen A. Smith Show. Here's the video. Another item I wanted to get to was something significantly more sensitive than what I just finished talking about. And that is the case involving Josh Giddy of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, let me say this to all of y'all out there who've been clamoring for me to touch on this subject. Y'all getting on my last damn nerves. 
Could you try to be responsible? Could you try? That's all I'm asking. What you want Stephen A to say? Oh, man, where you at, Stephen A? If this was a brother. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If it was a brother, I would have treated it with the same level of sensitivity. We don't know anything. We know there's an investigation going on. That's all we know. We don't know anything else. You know why Stephen A hasn't said anything? Because you could get sued, idiots. You don't just go out there running your damn mouth over something this serious. Some, a, a, a fight that took place on a basketball court? Sure. Allegations where the alleged victim is identified? Sure. Where the specification of the crime is illuminated? Sure. But this clamoring to comment about something with no information, no definitive facts, you can't do it. You can do it on social media with your troll ass selves. You can do it then because you don't have any real accountability. But why don't you try using your social media accounts and going to Josh Giddy and flat out accusing him and stating it as a point of fact? Make sure you give him your name and address, too. Because he probably could sue you. You have to wait and see. Okay, and I want to stop the video right there because, as you can see, Stephen A. Smith is saying that he couldn't address it right away because of the allegations. And he could be sued, right? And he said, we have to wait and see what happens before he get on his platform and go off and address the allegations. Well, I have to disagree based off of what Stephen A. Smith just said because he did the complete opposite when he had covered the Kevin Porter Jr. situation. I'm going to play this clip on Stephen A. Smith talking about the Kevin Porter Jr. allegations. Keep in mind, allegations. Just like the Josh Giddy news is allegations, right? Let me play the clip of Stephen A. Smith attacking Kevin Porter Jr. based off the allegations that was reported. Ladies and gentlemen, he should be in jail. He should not only be in jail. Tillman Fertitta, Ime Udoka, the new coach, the Fertitta family. Um, it should be announced that he's no longer a member of the Houston Rockets effective immediately. And the NBA, the NBA should adopt the NFL's rule as it pertains to literally prohibiting you from participating, wearing an NBA uniform, being inside an NBA arena, playing on an NBA basketball court until investigation, the investigation is complete. You can't do, you can't even be accused of doing what the hell this man has been accused of. He has besmirched the name of the Houston Rockets. He has besmirched the NBA brand. He has sullied his own damn name. He will forever be synonymous if this is true. He made Udoka, Tillman Fertitta, he got to go. Adam Silver, commissioner of NBA, he, 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 he can't be allowed to play with the Houston Rockets. Show up for you and the Rockets training camp next week. You ain't, got to, you, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. You can't be on an NBA roster with these charges leveled against you, with those details being provided to the public. It cannot happen. Okay, and that's Stephen A. Smith going off on Kevin Porter Jr. based off of what he was accused of at the time. But based off of those allegations, Stephen A. Smith used his platform to attack that young man. Keep in mind, his girlfriend, Kaiser Gondersick, had came out and denied everything that was reported about her and Kevin Porter Jr., Kaiser Ghana, she said, my injuries don't support any of those claims. She said in an exclusive interview, adding that the Manhattan District Attorney Office and cops were to blame for the inaccuracies. She said, he didn't even hit me. He never bought his fist up. And he definitely didn't punch me in the face numerous times. That's a lie. I don't even have injuries to support that. So not only they don't have an official hospital report, the cops made false claims, a false police report. And that's why her and her lawyers went off on the district attorney 
who putting out this report. You got people like Stephen A. Smith who use his platform to attack Kevin Porter Jr. Saying that he should be out the NBA based off of the allegations. He even said that the allegations shouldn't even be attached to Kevin Porter Jr. name. That's how serious Stephen A. Smith had took that. But he didn't have that same energy when it came to Josh Giddy, man. And this video right here is proof, man. So y'all hit that like button. Please, let's get this video to get pushed out to the algorithm. Can't do it without you guys. Y'all got to hit that like button. That's all we're asking is for equal reporting, at least for these guys to keep that same energy. But as you can see at ESPN, they don't, man. So that's what Stephen A. Smith and Malika Andrews have to say about Josh Giddy, man. Y'all get in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts about today's video. How do y'all feel about Malika Andrews' Stephen A. Smith response? Like, share, comment, and subscribe for more self-taught videos.